Hi, Sharon Downey here with another two minute tip. This week it's two tips in two minutes. In embracing our gray hair, there's a lot of talk about making uh, highlights or lowlights or removing color uh, as your hair is going through the transition. In my perhaps not so humble opinion, but experienced opinion, when you color your hair, you have to use bleach. And when you've already got colored hair, and then you're going to color it again with a highlight or a low light, you're adding more dryness to the hair. Also, when it's growing out, it's going to fade even more and it will get drier, etc. Now there are those who can do this approach and it works fine, but more that it doesn't work. If you have to do that route, then make sure that you don't highlight or color any of the gray hair that's growing in, only the colored hair. And I would highly recommend not doing blonde highlights when you've got gray hair growing in. And unfortunately, in order to get platinum or like a silver color, the hair has to be bleached quite a bit. So I ain't so sure that's a good idea. However, there is an alternative. Using extensions will help. If you uh, want to, let's suppose you want to add some gray to your hair when it's longer, but you don't see any of that, just put a few strategic, you know, short, little, narrow extensions that you can get or make yourself just in strategically where you need. It, and that will uh, give you the, the look that you need as you're going through the, the, the demarcation line moving on downward uh, rather than coloring it because nine times out of ten many women have to end up cutting it off anyway so if you can avoid that why not? And of course, those with a great head shape and a face frame structure, all that sort of thing, that want to buzz their hair or do a short pixie, if it looks good on your head, fantastic. It's a, it's a great alternative. And there's some absolute beautiful looks out there of women who have buzzed their hair. However, if your head shape isn't the best or it's rather small for a larger body frame or, it's a, or anything like that, then the balance won't look so good and you won't feel so good. There's been women who've cut their hair off because it, they've colored it too much and it's just gotten too dry and they've had to, you know, cut it all off and they haven't felt good about it. We don't want that. You want to look and feel your best through going through the whole transition. So it's worth it to think about it, think it through, and look at all your options before you make your decision. And speak to people in forums uh, on Facebook or other social media where there are tips and tricks and techniques uh, being shared by people going through the process at various stages. Uh, the one that uh, I belong to is uh, on Facebook called Going Gray and Loving It. We have lots of pictures for inspiration, information, and a plethora of uh, uh, discussion for you to talk about. So you come join us there or any place else you feel like it. But ask around to people who are going through it and or who have gone through it before you listen to your stylist. Sorry stylists, but you know, that's just the way it is. Anyway, enjoy. If you have questions, you know where I am. We will see you next time. Bye.